Hey y'all, new day, new verse, and a new chance to gather together. Father God, we just thank you for the opportunity for it. We thank you for just the peace, for the rest, for the life you give. Just thank you for being with us. Pour out the daily bread, fill us with your Holy Spirit, abundantly fresh, anointing new. Dwell with us that it might just be an intimate relationship that we go walking with our friend. For you have called us friend, and we thank you for it, King Jesus. Lead us away from temptations, away from evil things, and remind us of your forgiveness so that when others fail us, we can forgive them as you forgave us and forgive us our failures. Thank you for it, Jesus. Amen. Chapter 18, 2 Kings. Just let the word speak for itself. Hezekiah, son of Ahaz, began the rule, to rule over Judah in the third year of King Hosea's reign in Israel. He was twenty-five years old when he became king, and he reigned in Jerusalem twenty-nine years. His mother was Abijah, the daughter of Zechariah. He did what was pleasing in Yahweh's sight, just as his ancestor David had done. He removed the pagan shrines, smashed the sacred poles, and cut down the Asherah poles or sacred pillars, and cut down the Asherah He broke up the bronze serpent that Moses had made because the people of Israel had been offering sacrifices to it. The bronze serpent was called Nehashtan. Hezekiah trusted in Yahweh, the God of Israel. There was no one like him among all the kings of Judah, either before or after his time. He remained faithful to Yahweh in everything, and he carefully obeyed all the commands that Yahweh had given Moses. So Yahweh was with him, and Hezekiah was successful in everything he did. He revolted against the king of Assyria and refused to pay him tribute. He also conquered the Philistines as far distant as Gaza and its territories, from their smallest outpost to their largest walled city. During the fourth year of Hezekiah's reign, which was the seventh year of King Hosea's reign in Israel, King Shalmaneser of Syria attacked the city of Samaria and began to siege against it. Three years later, during the sixth year of King Hezekiah's reign and the ninth year of King Hosea's reign in Israel, Sumeria fell. At that time, the king of Assyria exiled the Israelites to Assyria and placed them in colonies in Hala, along the banks of the Harbor River in Gozan, and in the cities of the Medes. For they had refused to listen to Yahweh their God and obey him, Instead, they violated his covenant, all the laws that Moses, the Lord's servant, had commanded them to obey. I look forward to picking up with y'all again on Monday when we are at the same place of Assyria invading Judah in Chronicles, Kings, and Isaiah. May the favor of the Lord be upon you. Remember, you are loved. I'll see you then.